pancakes are one of those things where it makes it so that the family can't eat together at the same time. We're gonna change that today. We're gonna make a puffed pear pancake in the oven so everybody eats together. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna have our pears here and what we're gonna do is just toss these pear slices with a little bit of sugar and cinnamon. Okay, that's just to kind of coat them really nicely. That's two tablespoons of sugar, some ground cinnamon, use your hands, your best kitchen tool ever, and just toss them pretty evenly and let them just kind of set aside. Now remember that pears will kind of start to turn as you slice them, so you might want to coat them with just a little bit of lemon juice to keep that from happening. So now we're going to make our pancake crust. So we've got three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to add three eggs to that. Of course, large, unless the recipe says otherwise. Three-fourths of a cup of milk, a little bit of salt, and a teaspoon of either almond or vanilla extract. I'm gonna use almond today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just whisk this together. And while we've been doing all this, we preheated the oven to 450 degrees. Now you'll need a large skillet for this. So about a 12 inch cast iron skillet works perfectly. And the little trick to this is to make sure that the skillet is in the oven while the oven is preheating. That gets the, the skillet nice and hot. Okay. We've got our pancake batter ready. Let's get the skillet out of the oven. Okay, you can see how big that is. And we're gonna add our butter. You'll see it start to sizzle. And we're just gonna tilt the skillet carefully so you don't burn yourself so that all that butter melts. Just like that, we're going to add our pears to this. Okay, so you don't have to be crazy about this. And any extra, I just like to add to the pan. Just make sure they're in a nice even layer so they're not piled on top of each other. And then we're gonna take our batter and we're gonna pour this over the top of it. Now the important thing is that you do not stir this after you pour it over the top. You're going to see a little few lumps in your batter. Don't worry about that. It's okay, it'll cook out. So we're gonna give it one more good whisk. Pour the batter over the top. and then back into the oven it goes. And now you've got breakfast that everybody can enjoy at the exact same time, puff pear pancake. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.